It has been an absolute thrill to work in partnership with Chesapeake Climate Action Network, and it has been a crucial piece of my work as a legislator. I have come into the General Assembly committed to make the climate crisis a top priority in my work, um, to really build, to respond to the climate crisis, to build a clean energy economy that is grounded in justice and good jobs. And Chesapeake Climate Action Network has been the perfect partner to work with this on. Uh, CCAN has a history in Annapolis, a positive reputation in Annapolis, and a doggedness to get the work done. And so from my very first session, we worked together to pass the Clean Energy Jobs Act, and it was uh, a tough one. It was a roller coaster ride. And, you know, Mike and Brooke and folks were in my office pretty much every other day while we're working on plan, you know, B, then plan C, then plan D, then plan E, uh, but we got it done. And on signy die, um, it was an honor to defend that bill on the floor and uh, and then to celebrate. And, you know, really that was just the beginning. And since then, uh, the, the CCAN has continued this effort uh, through the pandemic, highlighting during the pandemic, the way that the pandemic is, you know, just really a model, a piece of, you know, how bad things could be when we don't take international, you know, climate policy seriously, the, 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 um, the damage and the destruction to human lives, as well as to the economy and, and the entire global, global, global community. And continuing that work really um, with a huge success in the last legislative session uh, with Climate Solutions Now Act. And you know what? CCAN does not rest on its laurels. As soon as Climate Solutions Now Act passed, Mike was on the phone with me talking about what are we going to do next and, and how are we going to implement this bill? And so uh, I love it. It's a thrill to work with CCAN and uh, I intend to do it for, for the foreseeable future until we have solved this climate crisis in a way that is just and equitable.